It, this actually, according to um, Ethan, was just telling me it does talk about routing it. Is this the pictures? So it says pull off here, here, plug it in there, e, and come up. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to get these plugs out, then we'll be back in a second. Instructions we gave you was actually for the. Um, I think it was the cross track or something like that. The outback, actually just pull this out. You do gotta pull that side. Pop a couple plugs in the top of here. And if you see this, you can see right up in here where you got that hook. You got the hook and then you reach your fingers up in there. You can pull that white plug from underneath there. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this plug um, go ahead and plug it in. We're going to take this to the body and screw it in with the Zerk fitting, Zerk screw. Not a Zerk screw, but a self tapping. Um, and then we're going to route these up and on the side underneath here until we can find a good spot for it to come out. And then we'll let you put the um, self tapper right here next to the rear um, strut mount. So we got this plugged in here, routed it through here. Um, I checked right here is a good location. Okay, and then if you follow this up here, got this tucked. I think I'm gonna want to get keep that red breaker out. We're gonna want access to this, so you know. Somewhere through here, we're just going to let it kind of be noticeable anyways. And then we'll get this kind of routed through here, but we pulled this plug out right back here. And we're able to snake it through here. And what we're going to do is just put a little slice in the plug, and that way the wires can go into it. And pop it in here, then we'll route it under the bumper cover, over through here, and around. So we're going to work on that right now. But we gotta get this kind of tucked up in here too while we have room. So, you know, we're just gonna pretty much put it like this where we leave this out here. And then we'll just have to make sure our foam piece is um, a little in a different spot if needed. We'll let you know if we need it in a different spot. But we'll go ahead and get this set right to the wire. And you can see we've just put it in the plug here. We slice the plug here and here. And we'll probably take some uh, caulk or something silicone to put there. Um, bent this a little bit. Ethan put some um, tape here just to keep it some chafing as much. Ran it around here, um, around the bar. And then we just put it here because we don't have the factory bracket that holds us in place, but you know, at least it has what it needs and it's gonna be secure. So up here, got everything put back in. I don't know if you can see very well, but there's the fuse compartment. Um, and then the box did fit back in here pretty good. So really the only thing left is now the bumper cover. So um, the wiring is done. It probably took us about 35 minutes, I'd say. Pretty easy. Um, I wish they would have actually had a little better directions because they didn't really have nothing for this one um, besides telling you where to find the plug.